I'm back at this uh, 40 odd year old Valent Combi. This is, for me, this is it. I'm going to tell the customer this is the last ditch effort I'm going to make to try and fix this boiler. I've brought with me um, my power flush machine and that's it. I just got to get a better understanding of this boiler. Last time I was so flustered and everything else, I didn't do some checks that I'm now going to do. You know, when you have time to think about stuff, you know, some of these things become clear. I'm keep looking over at the house, thinking what's awaiting me. The boiler runs, it fires, and it does get hot. It only runs at two and a half millibar, but the flow and return get reasonably hot. I would say over 60 degrees. Um, but the hot water is running, you know, 40. It's 20 degrees. I think 20 degrees is too much, especially when the return, I would say, is 60 degrees. I think there's no heat transfer there. So if I improve that heat transfer, maybe the boiler will ramp up. Um, I had no documentation. I had no way of even knowing what voltages things were meant to run at. So I've done some research when I went home. I used to carry a filing cabinet in my van. That filing cabinet is in my garage. I went to it, and in that filing cabinet, I found the book for a side 18. I also found a user manual for the same boiler. So I should have had this stuff with me. But you know, anyway, I'm here today. I pray to God I get it fixed. The thing is, if I break something on this boiler, I can't go and get another one. I have to source it. It could take days, weeks. Might not even be able to get it. So this is the problem. I'm gonna make sure the customer's aware of that. And let's get to it, get it fixed, I hope. Here we go again. I'm just gonna get this stripped down and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so we're gonna have a little recap on what's happened to this boiler. When I first arrived, I've done a quick visual inspection and I found this case wasn't fitted correctly. Uh, the pilot wouldn't light uh, and the flue inside wasn't attached. So that was the first thing I sorted. I put the case on properly, reattached the flue properly, cleaned up the electrode, cleaned the pilot, got it to light. Then I investigated the hot water problem. The original call was for a hot water problem. So the hot water, the first thing I found with the hot water was it wasn't making the mic, or, or I could hear it making the micro switch, but it didn't fire the boiler. I found the micro switch in here was all burnt out. Okay, there's two switches side by side, one of them was burnt out. So I replaced that micro switch and the stuffing box below to keep it dry. The reason it had burnt out, there was a small leak. So I got that bit sorted so it would register a demand. Then I noticed if you turn the boiler onto preheat, so this is the preheat switch, if I put the preheat on, this boiler would run 24 hours a day. That was because a previous engineer under here there's the micro switch for preheat. They had adjusted this so that the boiler constantly had a demand for hot water, which actually was a demand for preheat, which meant the boiler constantly kept the plate hot. So the diverter valve didn't operate correctly. So I've adjusted that and got that working. So the diverter valve now works for heating and then closes down and works for the preheat or the hot water, whichever you've got on. So I've done that. I then noticed that the boiler would was running quite hot. I feel the return here, it was really hot, okay? But the hot water wasn't great. So I added some descaler to the heating side of this heat exchanger. Uh, whether that done its job or not, I don't know. I then realized the boiler wasn't going onto high flame. Uh, I noticed that this servo valve here wasn't operating and wasn't pushing the plunger in on the gas valve. Once I removed it, however, it had seized in the pushed out mode already got this operating correctly i then tried to adjust the burner pressure which i couldn't adjust it was stuck at two and a half millibar i didn't go any further than that at that point i gave up and we're back here today to try and find out what's going on 
So we need to find out why is this stuck at two and a half millibar? Is it because it gets hot very quick? Or is there a problem here with this gas valve section here? Also, can we improve the heat transfer in the heat exchanger here to give better hot water performance? Because although we could get the boiler nice and hot eventually after running the tap for a while, the hot water was still rather cold or, or wasn't as hot as I would like. So today we are gonna find out if we can get the burner pressure correct and, and if it's not correct, why? And then we are gonna potentially descale this. I've brought a power flush with me today. I can isolate the mains and cut it across down here or I can remove this. I don't know which way I will go about that, but we're back. I've rigged up a hose so I can control the hot water. We're just gonna double check this burner pressure and can we get the gas valve to open up to full rate? So I'll just get my gauge and stuff on and I'll be back with you in a sec. On zero. Two point three millibar, yeah. I've got fourteen volts. That should be max flame. So, reading the manual, if I get fifteen volts across there, that should be. 10 millibar so we got the power there it's just not going up to 10 millibar so this section here may be jammed so we may not need to descale it i'm going to now check out this gas valve and see if there's anything i can free off i'll also check the resistance across this solenoid here and see what we got always check the voltage i'm going to get the power off to all of this and then i'm going to investigate why this isn't working here so I know you can get this part separately to the rest of the gas valve. So this top section is only mechanical. Nothing, just mechanical. That's the only electrics on it. Therefore, if that gets power, the mechanical bit should open. So there must be something I can do to get this to open properly. Let's find out. So with the coronavirus stuff going on, I'm not going in this house. This boiler is in an outhouse. Yeah, power's off. Okay. Oh. Brilliant, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll turn the gas off just in case. Okay, how does this come out? Something wedged under it. There we go. Oh, that just comes out like that, eh? Wow, that's a big boy. So obviously in here, this isn't moving for some reason. This pin there is meant to slide out and it's got like a ball on it. And that ball makes contact with that brass rod, which in turn makes that micro switch. Now that micro switch has never made when I've been here. So this is stuck, I believe. So I'm going to get this out now. I'm going to try and get this pin moving. It does seem to move. I can push it with my finger. Get this freed up, I'll get in there freed up and uh, and we'll see what happens. Just put a little bit of WD, try and free it off. So I took this micro switch off. And then we've got this moving. Got that sorted, I think. Hopefully that's fixed. So this adjustment here is how long this takes to go from high flame to low flame. So this does something with the fluid inside. Let's put it back in and see if we get high flame. So let's see what's going on now. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, can you put the the power back on for me, please? Yep. I'm just giving it a bit more flow rate in case it does work. Just waiting for that to glow. It's glowing. Got no pilot, okay. We've got no gas, have we? Okay, it's on now. Thank you. So remind us to check that now. First time. It's a bit windy today. So with a cover off, the pilot might blow out. That's going to be a problem. Whoa! Boom, straight to 14 millibar. Yes! Just turned on the hot tap down there. I'm just going to check it's running at a decent flow rate and then we'll get on and adjust this. It lit good. Okay. Did you find something? You, no. find, you find something? Yes, that's working now. I just got to set the pressure. Okay. And then we see about the heat. Transfer. What to pressure level you mean? No, what? gas pressure. Gas pressure, yeah. It's yeah. now 14. So now I've got to adjust it to 10. Oh yeah, I thought about maximum, is it about 10? 10, 10 yeah, right. so it's 14, so good. I adjust it down, and then we see how the boiler performs, fine, fine. and if it needs to be flushed. Alright, oh, that's good, that's great. Oh, maybe that was restricting really, basically. So it was, but I don't know if now that it gets more gas, the boiler probably overheat. It'll okay. probably get too all hot, right. okay? Yeah. Uh, what should I do now? Nothing, I'm controlling oh, it all. Oh yeah, okay, alright. No, I thought maybe you wanted to put the That's about right. If you notice, it lights and goes bam straight to high flame. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to take a few seconds. You adjust that on this point here. You see what difference a bit of reading makes. We're at 8.7. Ten point two. It's close enough for me. Okay, so we've got the gas pressure set. That's great. I'm going to get this all buttoned back up. Get a cover on it, and then we're going to see about if the boiler overheats or not. Because I think what's going to happen now that it's got the right gas. We're going to get it adjusted so it doesn't open so quickly on this, but now it's got the right gas, so I think it's going to um, overheat. I think.
making sure you're paying attention. That's pretty good. Give it one more little tweak there. And one more little tweak there. The wind is causing a problem now. We we'll let it settle down because we're not getting it cross light in now. Beautiful. Nice, nice smooth lighting now. So case back on. Let's get. Let's see what happens now. Will it overheat? Will it work? We'll see. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's see what happens now the boiler can uh, run at max power. Will it overheat? See how I'm ready. Seems to be okay. So I'm going to check the temperature of the hot water now and I'm going to adjust the flow rate. The boiler is maintaining, it's not overheating, I think the hot water is good. I'll leave you watching this while I go check the hot water. Hot water is good and hot now, I'm just going to tweak the flow rate up a little bit. Sounds good as well, boiler sounds good. We'll turn it off, the boiler should shut down, it's not on preheat. <sighs> Beautiful. So, a little round up of what we've done on this boiler. We have Fix the pilot light so it lights and stays lit and it lights first time off this. We have replaced the micro switch and stuffing box inside there. We have got the diverter valve to work properly with a micro switch for the preheat which someone had bodged up to give the customer hot water. We have filled this uh, little cylinder here which is the plate heat exchanger effectively but it's not we filled that with a descaler last time we were here we got this servo valve working which is what operates the gas so if you watch carefully now I'll turn the preheat on you'll see it the pin comes out and it turns on the gas we turn it off when the pump stops running, goes back in. So today we then removed this big solenoid. We got the solenoid working to open up the main part of the gas valve in there. Once we had that doing, and the way you can know we've done that, if you look up at this micro switch here, little focus, put the light on. So. Oh, the preheat's done now. Mm, preheat's over. Right, let me uh, run the hot tap.
Is that overheated again? So, there's the overheat down there. Let's see if that's what's just happened. Is it overheated? Ah. Can't get in there. at the second we'll get to that in a sec it's that button down there I think that's just overheated because that's cold that's on that's back that's back yeah, I think it just overheated. Overheated? I think so, yes. Okay. Once it went off and was left, it overheated. Okay, so now after a demand, the boiler overheats. It's time to get some more descaler in there and connect the machine across to clean this. That's what's going on now. I'm positive it's overheated, we just have to wait for it to cool down. To actually test it, I'd have to take all of this out again where the micro switch was and Anyway, I'm just going to get some stuff, work out how I'm going to do this, and uh, then I'll get back to you. I'm just draining the boiler. The way I figure it, if I'm going to descale one side, I may as well descale the other. So I'm going to get some more chemicals in the heat exchanger on one side, fill that up, and then I'm going to um, connect my power flush oh. in, so I can do the uh, main side as well. Okay, so the, uh, I filled the, the chlorophy up with descaler and I've got the power flush on the mains with descaler. So hopefully we can get this boiler sorted. be okay. Okay, so I just had a uh, just had a cup of tea in the van for 20 minutes. Came back, I was a bit worried, but it's all good. I didn't have the boiler on, by the way. I left the boiler off like this. Putting a bit more water in the boiler, then I'm going to run the hot tap. Even though I've flushed it, I'm still going to run it through for a good five minutes, make sure there's nothing in there. I flushed it in both directions as well with the machine on there. 
Right, that's good, running nice and fast. So we're gonna do one last bit of setup on the boiler. Recheck that burner pressure with the NTC disconnected to make sure it's spot on. And then we're gonna check the hot water, but there's no more I can do for this boiler. This is it. If it doesn't work now, I can't do any more. It's a good run there. We we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I don't want to say nothing. Neither do I. Just cross my fingers. <laughs> Brought spanners today. Okay. Cover back on. Let's test it. Okay, so now you're going to see what I've done with this switch. That's what that switch does. That opens the gas valve. Then this one ramps it up through this hole in here. And then if you can see in there, let's see if I can make it so you can see that one. Turn it off, you see it drops. Ready, it's going to ramp up. Beautiful. You ready? Okay, so the water now must be running 10, 11, maybe 12 litres a minute. From when I was doing the flush, I opened it right up. So now I'm going to close it down to a more, you know, what is this? This boil is only 26 kilowatts, so eight liters a minute. Uh, and remember, it's not as uh, efficient as a modern boiler. So not all of that energy goes into the water. Therefore, it doesn't perform quite as well. Um, heat output is actually only 19 kilowatt. Whereas a modern boiler is done on output, isn't it? So it's done net. So this boiler is only 20 kilowatt, therefore it can't do eight liters a minute. It, it, that, it, that's physically impossible for the boiler using physics. So I'm gonna adjust it down, get some hot water. This is looking pretty good though. So the way I'm doing this right now, I don't need a weir gauge, I don't need all that stuff right this second. I'm just holding the pipe, adjusting it down, wait until I get some good hot water performance. And then hopefully when I go to the other end, we have a reasonable liters per minute. As I decrease the flow rate, the domestic hot water flow rate, the temperature increases. The customer's giving it a try now. Safety checks all done. Burner pressure good. Flues good. Combustion analysis is good. I was concerned about that. That might not have made it in. Is your heating on now? Uh, or no, it's the on hot water only. Are you still running the tap? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Shall I? Uh, shall yeah, I was thinking, why is it still lit? Yeah, oh, you yeah. can turn it off. I'll turn it off. Do you want me to improve the flow rate a little bit? Sorry, flow rate? Yeah. Well, I won't worry about it. It's running as it is. I'm not really worried too much. 
I increase it, it just a little bit. coming nicely. Good, okay. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the, the, uh, it, it's cutting plenty of water through the pump. So yeah. it Good. What do you think? Yeah, plenty of water, nice and hot, yeah? Perfect. Yeah, I can take a bus now instead of working myself uh, with a swamp. Uh, I <laughs> okay, you can turn that off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it's uh yeah. glad it's done though. Yeah. Oh, I can put a fernox. Yeah, I've put fernox in there, so hopefully that does the job. Yeah, yeah, of course. So more or less ready for the winter, ready. Yeah. <sighs> I'm beat and I've still got one more job to do today. Okay, so now I'm running away and changing my phone number. Only messing. So the uh, the thirty the forty year old combi, however old it is, I will find out from Valent. That's done, fixed, working. Um, it's now five o'clock. I'm at my next job of the day, and um, oh mate, <laughs> hopefully it's going to go well. That's all I can say. So Worcester Hydroblock, um, someone's apparently had a go at it and then walked out or something. I don't know. Anyway. Can't get worse than that job earlier. Oh, famous last words. <laughs> I will see.